Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to my Deathloop Let's Play series. My name's Jason, aka UK Dark Fox. And in today's episode, we are indeed going to be racing back to our apartment. If you haven't seen the last episode and you don't want spoilers, please consider checking that out. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe, and ring the post notification bell just below the video so basically as i was saying in the last episode we had to go back to our apartment in freedom we had got a code to get into a safe which we'd previously visited in episode two and basically we got there and we were too late wah, wah, wah. it had been taken whatever was in there the uh vpp is it called had been taken by juliana so we're going back in there today and we're on a race against time because we now know that she's going to be there to take it. We're going to try and intercept the package. We know how the events unfold and we're going to try our best to get there before Juliana. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Without further ado, let's get into this. Alrighty, so we're back now and this is basically where the game all started for us but now we're obviously armed with new information but the loop has reset we've got no abilities no powers nothing so we're back at the beginning but now we've got to use our knowledge prior knowledge and tools to get to our apartment and we've got to beat juliana but this time we're doing it with minimal tools and a minimal tool set so we're just gonna get equipped. I already know what's going to happen. Yeah. I already know what's gonna happen. And I'm sick of waking up on this fucking beach. What? So we're just gonna grab to all the tools the that we can. Fuck that. We know the yeah, cool. Oh. Very impressive. I'm clapping with one hand. <laughs> Don't stop there. Put them both together. The body count is gonna get high. You got me and a few others, but you really want to kill everyone on the island? Not efficient. You start to feel. <laughs> so we've got to use our knowledge now hey, the codes that we've learned etc we've got to get to the apartment asap we know what she's going to say what she's going to do but we're armed with knowledge now that she doesn't currently know that we have and we're going to use that to our advantage and make our way through lickety split oh what's this slab all right hit the apartment hard get the safe lpp <laughs> uh, break the loop. Let's go. So the great thing is now we're armed with this knowledge. Okay. As I explained in the previous episode, different times of day have different levels of sort of difficulty. The levels change based on time. So our first run to the apartment was very, very easy. We could infiltrate. There were no security shutters. There were no problems. There were minimal guards. We got in there. But at that point, we never knew the code. We didn't know the LPP was there. So we progressed forward. We got the code for the safe. We discovered the LPP was there in the safe, whatever the LPP may be. Do you follow me <laughs> so far? So now we're going to be going back where it's less guarded, but we're actually going to arrive before Juliana gets there to steal the LPP. So we have the advantage now. So we're using this death loop mechanic to our advantage. So the, like it says, a newish dawn, because we've already done a new dawn, is very, very um, hard to understand. So we're just going to skip through this. So we've got gear now. So we're basically speed running what we've already done before. We're just going to quickly go to our loadout. Going to get set up here now with our double jump. Equip. The weapons we picked up, that's great. I don't think we've got any other weapons. No, that's fine. We've got our resurrection tool, got our machete. Looks like we're good to go here. And here we go into up dam. Juliana's ransacked my safe during the day. Too bad for her. It'll be waiting for me in the morning. So here we go. So we've got all of our information we've collected over our run. So here in this handy uh, dossier sort of thing with our times of day where everything's relevant. So we've discovered Charlie runs the Minicom network. The up damn delivery booth sits in the plaza in front of the library and return in the morning. So we're going to track this lead. 
HUD marker is disabled, HUD marker is enabled, up down delivery booth sits in the plaza. So you want to tick anything that you want to look into and stuff. We're going to get straight back into up down now and we're going to try and get to the apartment before Juliana. Fingers crossed we have a successful run here. So memory is key, remembering the layouts at the time of day where enemies are. Obviously, the more times we run these loops, we're going to get better and better and better, more efficient. So in the in the later times of the day, there was guards stood here having a conversation. It was a bit of a pain. But now, obviously, they're not here. So there should be two guards down here because it's the morning. There'll be two guards there. But what we can actually do here, because of our new double jump ability, which was not available before, we can go jump. Yeah? And we can jump up here. And straight away, we're already making greasy fast progress. Duck down. Guys over here. Obviously, getting past these the first time around was a real pain. So, delivery booth. We should have really checked that out, but we'll check it out on another run. So, camera there, no problem. We're just going to go up and over because now we know we can because we've been here before. And we're going to make our way to the flat. Uh oh, we've triggered some. I weren't expecting them to be there. We're gonna get to the safe. End of the keypad. Oh, right. LPP. LPP. Now, right, here we go. Loop preservation protocol is what the LPP stands for. Abstract the visionaries are the loop. It persists only as long as they survive. Any threat to the visionaries is a threat to the loop. If every visionary perishes in a single loop, the loop will destabilize and collapse. No more parties, no more experiments, no more eternal life. While analysing your interest, offices and residents have identified significant points of weakness. Right, so we've now got a list of the boss characters we need to set down. Alexis, Lad Gathering, Dorsey, Manor, Up Dam, Charlie, Complex. Oh, wow. So I'll just leave that up for a second if you want to pause the video and just have a look and uh, sort of commit that to memory. This is how I'm going to break the loop. Yes. Right. Eight people, one day. That's harder than it sounds. You. Yep. Oh, wow. All right. It's me. So, so what's the plan? Eight targets, one day. We're gonna need a couple more Colts in here if we're gonna wreck this island in a Colt what? storm. No. Listen, I can't stay long. How did you even get in here? Didn't you get shot two loops ago, or, or, or was it three? So many Different ways. Code. Look, there's huh? thousands of us, or more. I, I don't know, but none of us have gotten it right. Okay. You gotta be better than all of us, so don't just try to shoot everything. But I like shooting you. You gotta be smart. It's the only way to fix this. This and this. Mm, I prefer the cold storm plan. Man, geez, lab. Figure out residuum, it'll make your life easier. Or do it the hard way. Whatever. Hand holding is over. What, what, what are you looking at? Why are you. Son of a bitch. All right, let's get started. So essentially, yet again, little tidbits there, sort of airing on the, you should be playing this stealth. It does allow you to play the game. Achievement unlocked, welcome to Black Reef, completed the longest day. Right, so the game does let you play any way you want, okay? You can go in, guns blazing, whatever. But there are a lot of subtle hints here and there that are kind of saying, listen, take your time, be a bit stealthy and whatnot. There are going to be times and moments in the game where we've got to go quicker than other people. There's two methods for doing this. We can either teleport, run faster, or go in at a prior time of day with the, with the knowledge offered. Okay? The LPP may not be a gun, but it contains something almost even better, information, and the, the key is information in this game. Specifically, where each of the visionaries are at the most vulnerable. Other call also offered up juicy tidbits when G's research into something called Residium will help you break the loop. So that's our next lead that we're going to be moving on to. We've also now re-picked up and reacquired the nail gum. So I presume now we can either check out, we might check out the delivery booth. Just listening to what this Alexis is saying. 
So he's one of the visionaries. Okay. So we're going to check out the booth, I think, on our way back. So do we just exit this loop? Or I'm not actually entirely sure. Whoa, look at this. So this is all the laid out things. Right. Wenji's lab is Residian. Maybe Aeon's head scientist. Da, 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 da. That's fine. Up down delivery booth. So if we deactivate the marker, will it just show the exit then? Right, so it's not really showing us the exits anymore. So now it's letting us have a little bit more freedom to, to sort of pick and choose where we go and what we do. So up to this point, it's kind of been a really in-depth explanation oh my god to how the game is actually going to be played so we're gonna make our way to this delivery booth so we got the code for this now fantastic uh have we got the code delivery booth code we did have the code i'm sure of it i keep pressing start instead of back did we have the code I can't actually recall if we did. Hmm. I remember a code being something like 6104. No. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to recall this, sadly. So we're going to make our way out of here now get back oh, oh enemy we're gonna make our way safely out of here i think and there we go death died here what all right i'm so confused right now So is it down here? Yeah, 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 yeah. What about Juliana? Where is she? Everywhere, but where? Yeah, let's blow this giant. Right, so there you go. So we're out now. We've got... Wow, it's just mind-blown again. It's like... So we beat Juliana to the safe using the time mechanic. We've also now discovered that we've got a lead for a delivery booth, which we need to find the code for. And also, we've got to track down something called Residium. And we've also ascertained that the visionaries need to be took down in one day. So we've got one full day worth of mechanics. So that's every phase of the day and X amount of areas to set down so many visionaries. Wow. This shit just got real. Oof. So, a man and a plan. You've got eight targets in time to kill. First on the list, Dr. Wedgene Evans. Face, face Igor. Right. So, now the real game begins. Okay. So, now we know where they're going to be. So, in the complex, we've got Wedgie's research and Igor. We now know that in Updam, we can break the loop. Wow. This has really just made things like go to the absolute next level the loop preservation protocol a bunch of big words to make a simple point i kill every visionary in one day i break the loop period i know where they spend time but i'm guessing it won't be as easy as hunting them down good thing i'm one stubborn motherfucker wow so actually, no, we will call this episode here because this is a big, big development and I want to keep my beginning taking down these visionaries as it feels like like a, like a next installment of this game. Today, phew, wow, this is some great stuff. Right, if you liked today's video, comment, like, subscribe and ring the post notification bell just below the video and i'm really looking forward to you all joining me in the next episode where we begin to take down the visionaries i've been uk that fox you've been you and i'll see you guys in the next one